Here we go, underway, quarterfinal action, heavyweight. Younger Bastida in the black and white for Iowa State, taking on Nick Feldman from Ohio State in the black singlet red ankle band. Both these guys are filthy on their feet, and it's Younger getting the action started with a nice single leg. He's got a treetop looking to back trip. See the balance of Nick Feldman. He's fighting in. No takedown yet, but Bastida in good position to get the opening score, and he's gonna get three. So good on his feet is Younger Bastida, and it really feels like he's just a different guy up at 285, not cutting any weight. You can see, I don't know if he's bigger than Feldman, but he's close. 
He's a good size heavyweight, plenty big. And having just that full tank has been huge for him. And he's been not just winning matches, he's been dominating in matches. And we'll see if that continues against someone as credentialed as they come into high school ranks, Nick Feldman. Left side to collar tie for Feldman. He works the inside control. Younger, like his teammate Anthony Echemendia from Cuba, made their way to Ames, Iowa, where they become really tough folk style wrestlers. Younger still. Make in the, making the transition up to heavyweight. Early in his career at heavyweight, but all signs point to that being a good decision. Oh, nice low shot, Nick Feldman, shin whizzer here from Younger Bastida. He's looking spin around. Oh, I think he's gonna get it. That was beautiful. He gets a three on the counter score. Little bit of everything from Younger. He is a bad man, 6-2, but Feldman will be heard. He's not gonna go quietly. First period in the book, 6-2, Younger Bastida. Bastida's choice, he's gonna go under. See how much Feldman commits to this ride. And immediately building up is Younger. He's away. 7-2 his lead. Feldman gonna be pressuring forward. Nice slow sweep single. And tries to spin out of again and somehow finds his way to the leg. And he crawls off the mat, but they're gonna give the takedown. Three, making it 10-2. That was a crazy one because Feldman was in so deep and he went for that same spin around and they, they broke completely free and it looked like they were gonna square up but then Younger finds his way to that single leg and finishes and I think Feldman was a little too worried about trying to get out of bounds instead of defending and ended up giving up the score. 10-2 now 10-3 after the escape. If you're Feldman, there's probably not many times you get in on that clean of a single leg and you come up empty handed. Worse, wind up not scoring. And this is the reattacks of Nick Feldman. They're strong, but you see, Younger just drops the hammer in that sprawl. Peek out, not there. see Feldman trying to work one way then the other get motion going but so far Younger has been ready for everything he's thrown at him. to go here in the second. And it looks 
like that's how the first or second, excuse me, is gonna end. 10-3 in favor of Yager Bastida. Feldman can go under. Only 16 seconds of riding time for Bastida, despite having three takedowns. And there's the escape 10 4. So Feldman probably going to need three takedowns here. No stall warnings, so it's a long way back, and he's, Feldman right now is a long way from one takedown. You know, he's been able to get in, but Mesita's had answers. He's in deep again here. Tricky Younger spins out again. That's given Feldman a lot of problems, and he's just been counterscored the same way for the second time. 13-4 for Younger. Another escape. 13-5. And Bastida staying in the hand fight as Feldman continues to pressure forward. And really, I think you know, you wonder if Feldman would have a little better luck attacking the other leg. Younger, he almost baits that lead leg out. But that trail leg is far away. He's in again, but well defended once again. There's a low shot by Younger, not in. Bastida looking so impressive so far against a very good Nick Feldman who if you look at his initial attacks, they're, they're spot on. They're everything you'd want them to be. It's just the finishing so difficult. As we're coming on the final 12 seconds of this match. Another shot. Younger going to squeeze in this short offense position and hang on for a 13-5 major decision over Nick Feldman. That'll do it. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 1 o'clock Eastern for those championship semifinals. Have a good night, thank you. Younger Bastida does a little somersault. Shake hands and we're underway. Heavyweight action, semifinal in the black and red for Iowa State, Younger Bastida. And in the gold and navy of navy, Grady Grease. Younger ranked number six, Grease number 10. Opposite semis, Campbell's take a dolly taking on Michigan's Lucas Davison. Younger's counter ability is incredible. If you attack his lead leg, he goes shin whizzer, 360, a lot of ways to counter score, and of course he can generate as well. Complete package as a wrestler from neutral, and there's an attack, and he goes upper body, and there's going to be three and then some. Any near fall coming? Let's see. Two, in fact. 5-0, just like that. The power of Bastida is remarkable at this weight class. Making the move up from 197 has proven to be huge for him. Yeah, Coach Dresser said a full feed. Younger Bastida, he's dangerous. Re-energized, revitalized not having to cut any weight. And man, we saw it in the semis, we saw it there. This is the offense that he has, is just as, as good as anyone in the, in the country at heavyweight. I mean, he's attacking the one side, he was tripping with his other leg, and he's coming up around the body, just attacks from everywhere. Nice double leg. Oh, clean finish there by Younger. Headgear comes off. And 
and headgear might have snapped off. So they're gonna have to maybe find another pair. So we're eight to one here on our semifinal, a younger in the lead, and zero zero between Lucas Davison and Tay Gadali. Might be a competitive one. It could be competitive. But yeah, Gadali's been impressive this year. Seems to have jumped some levels. And Younger jumps the start slightly. There's the escape, 8-2 now. And level change from Younger. No score there as they come up over under. Carrie Colat and Blaze Cobble in the corner for Greece. Kevin Dresser and Brent Metcalf. There's a stall warning after Younger fires off a high crotch and finishes. The finishing of Bastida is honestly almost as impressive as his attacks. When yeah. he gets in, he has all the answers putting his opponent down. It's 11-2 after one period. Actually, it's not even concluded yet. Yeah, he Bastida, doesn't want to give it up. Big lift there. Bastida, you know, not the biggest heavyweight, but like you said, once he gets to those legs, it's almost a sure thing he's gonna come out with three points. And it looks like Younger's bleeding. Well, we have a break, a little update with our team score. Nebraska in the lead, 112. Ohio State, 109.5, and Iowa State, 108. So if Younger wins here, Iowa State will take the lead in, that team's, in our team standings. How many points do you get punching from semis to finals? Um, I'm not sure. Let me check. I think it's... I think it's six points. I think it's six. We'll start the second underneath. Will Bastida. Yeah, six points for a win in the semis. And a little sit out there from Bastida. Makes it 12 to two, 10 point lead. Riding time not a factor. Davison gets a takedown and I believe some near fall mm -hmm. to make it 6-1. Oh, nice high crotch by Younger Bastida. Three more, 15 to two. 13 point lead. One takedown away from a tech fall. Yeah, how much is he gonna work for a turn here when he's just a takedown away from ending this match? Escape makes it 15-3. Younger snaps out of it. He's got, oh, nice single leg. Chase into the, now lifts it up, nothing yet. Pulls it out. Wow. And Grease able to defend. Lateral drop attempt, but nothing happening. That's gonna be three. Tech fall victory for Younger Bastida, who continues to just be nothing but impressive. Woo. Younger Bastida, how many takedowns do you have there? Five takedowns, maybe? Four, he only had two six. near fall. I think he had six. Whatever it was, man, so impressive. In this tournament all year, Bastida has not had a close match. His offense has just been another level. But this is a test. This is a different test from anyone that Bastida has faced so far. Lucas Davis, number three in the country. Underway here at heavyweight in the red. That's Younger Bastida. Moving up from 197, and he's filled it out nicely. He's taking on Michigan's All-American. Transfer from Northwestern, Lucas Davison. And expect some really impressive neutral wrestling in this one.
Bastida's offense and defense both been working. His counter scoring ability, really impressive. Also his finishing. Yeah, you mentioned Bastida coming up from 197. And it's like, okay, where does he fit in this heavyweight field? You have Kirkfleet, Hendrickson at the top, but then right after that is Lucas Davison. So this match is gonna tell us a lot about where Bastida is. A little bit of a feeling out process so far as Davison Jackson an underhook. Body lock for Younger. It's got him on the edge. Are they gonna say out of they bounds, went out, out of, of bounds. bounds? So close. And that's where Younger is so good when he gets around the body. Went from the double underhooks to the body lock immediately. If that's in the middle of the mat, it's probably a takedown, maybe backs. And they both shove each other off. Minute 44 to go here in the first scoreless. But an exciting opening takedown attempt. And Davison was a 197 pounder three years ago. Moved up All-American the last two years at heavyweight. And now, you know, you look at these two guys, you don't really see a size difference, right? It kind of look like they're all. similar size. Back to the underhooks is Younger Bastida shoving off there is Davison trying to clear out of that tie. Now back to it is Younger Bastida. Can he get it? Davison burying that head, backing out of bounds, stepping in, inside trip for Younger. Stop That's gotta be a warning, in. and yeah. there it is. I mean, Younger backed him straight to the edge, attacks, and Davison used the boundary to avoid that yeah. score. The right call there. And, and right tactics from Davison. Mm -hmm. Don't get taken down. It's worth giving up a warning to avoid that three. Early impressions is that Younger is gonna continue to work for those hooks and Davison's mm -hmm. gotta try to keep him out because it looks like a position where Younger can really dominate and potentially score. Yeah, and you know, we mentioned the offensive abilities of Bastida, but we also saw some counter offense against Feldman. You shoot, you expose yourself, you don't finish quick, Bastida's gonna score. Yeah, I mean, he hit three straight 360s. There's a level change from Younger. No score yet, 25 to go here in the first period. For Younger, getting that first period takedown has been kind of his calling card, but not able to get one yet. 17 to go. Davison, very calculated so far, has not really fired an attack yet. There's a high crotch, beautiful shot, trying to double off. Good counter there by Davison, three seconds to go. Man, that was so fast yeah. from both guys. Yeah, kind of went outside step, but Davison, man, really good defense. That's the best defense we've seen against an offensive attack from Bastida. Because in his previous matches, when he gets in, he is pulling it in and finishing yes. so quickly. That's a real credit to Lucas Davison's defense off that opening attack, as he's been able to thwart three really strong attacks from Bastida. Mm -hmm. The question is, how long can he maintain and hold him off? Tripod stand up, Bastida not really gonna commit to the ride as the escape comes. Level change from Davison, a little stutter fake. Back to the underhooks, but Davison clears out of it. I haven't really seen Davison make any kind of no. committed attack just yet. Well, I think you gotta be respectful of the defense of Younger, yeah. and that's what we're seeing. But at some point, to win the match, you're gonna have to score. Now it's Davison with double unders. Yep, but level change oh. from Younger. What's gonna be the call? Action on the edge. 57 to go here in the second. Collar ties for Younger. Now an over collar there. Yeah, 
and it feels like something shifted a little bit in the hand fight. At the beginning, it felt like mm -hmm. Gonger was taking a, maybe a little bit more ground, but it seems like Davison might be winning the hand fight here later in the second period. Nice. Oh, nice little, wow. oh my gosh, look at this carry. He's in the air looking for the takedown. Nothing wow. yet, passing the leg is Lucas Davison. No points, and now hipping up in. Davison now doubling off. It's a single leg oh for Basinas to come goodness. off the mat oh, out of bounds. Oh my goodness. What was that? What an exchange. The carry had him up, up, up in the air, but Davison was able to recover. Now they're talking about something. I don't think you challenge this. No. I don't think there's any challenge here. There's no takedown there. What an exchange. <laughs> you see him in the air, you're like, okay, he'll score this. Nope. And we're gonna have a look at that, I think, at the break here. Look at this. Look at this Man. beautiful carry. He takes that unhook, whoop, throws it by. And lifts gets it his straight under. up, but the awareness of Davison to yep. dive under, get that leg. Not in a danger position there. I don't know how that doesn't get a single danger zone swipe, but wouldn't have mattered. I don't think it would have been three anyways. So now, Lake comes in. Now this is a, it's, it's always kind of a question. How's Young yeah. gonna be able to get away from the elite riders here? Of course, only been wrestling folk style a handful of years. Now he gets away pretty consistently, but Davison, Gonna commit to this ride. Probably sees that as his opportunity, but as I say that, Younger working for a reversal, but now that could be slowing him down and preventing him from getting that escape. The pursuit of reversals can be very, very dangerous, but now turning in, nothing yet for Younger Bastida. He's on the edge. Can they give a reversal there? He's got the hips covered. They're gonna give two. it two on the reversal. Riding time, not a factor. And now is he gonna push him off? Yes, go out of bounds. 2-1 on the scoreboard. Now if you're younger, he takes some big breaths as he heads back to center. Mm -hmm. Do you try to ride here? Do you let him up and work for that takedown? That's the question. Yeah, I think the escape is imminent here for Davison. Don't expect younger to commit to much of a ride. And a caution on younger. And we got blood. And so they're gonna clean up Younger's nose. Got a little blood on the top of it. As they work to clear that out. The scenario here is this. 2-1 lead for Bastida. There's a minute left. He's on top. Have to assume Davison probably gonna get a relatively yep. quick escape. So we're probably gonna have around a minute of neutral They'll likely settle this. Remember, Davison has yeah. the lone warning in this match, and Bastida has consistently been attacking. Uh, it's been all counter for Davison. Apart from a couple aggressive underhooks, he's not really attacked. So is that in the back of the official's mind as we enter this final minute? Hopefully it, it gets settled. On the mat, yeah. On the mat. Yeah, it's got to be in the back of the official's mind. Got to be in the back of Davison's mind as well. And he's coming forward with that in his mind. 2-2 on the scoreboard. Right hand off back. Nice single leg here from Lucas Davison. Good wizard here. Near side cradle drops down to the leg. Shin wizards, they go towards the boundary from Younger Bastida. So he's trying to keep that foot away. Trying to pull him back in is Lucas Davison. Younger very, very comfortable in this position. We've seen him defend from here many times in the past. Dropping down the foot, trying to pull him back in close, but no cigar for And how much Lucas is that? Davison. Is that's got to be stolen as well? Yeah. So a warning a piece now. And I think Davison had the right idea. Yeah. Get the foot off the mat. Don't try to finish on the mat with Younger. 26 to go, as we saw a really strong committed attack from Lucas Davison. Does that give him a little more comfort? High crunch. Head outside now for Younger Basia. Trying to work for the finish. 17 seconds to work for it. Standing single, fighting in. Finishes backside. He's got it, There's he's got three. it. Take down for Younger, eight seconds to go. He takes the lead, 5-2, now just four seconds. And he's gonna hang on as they Stall call. warn him for stalling as time expires. It's 5-3 in favor of Bastida.
but just two seconds to go. And the there Cyclones have a champion here, and the Cyclones are the champions of CKLV. Younger Bastida, the cherry on top, with a title here against Lucas Davis, a great match. Younger Bastida, late takedown off a beautiful high yeah. crotch, the difference. Great match, man, from both Davison and Bastida, but in the end, we've been saying this, it's the offensive wrestler who gets the victory, and Bastida was offensive from start to finish in the late takedown.